This is going to be a faster video here. We're going to talk about powering up this little board. Okay, so we know that the Arduino has this little barrel plug, but that barrel plug doesn't actually transfer power into this shield up here. But the shield does have this, uh, this set of connectors here, this uh, plus and minus. Now it says maximum 36 volts, okay? Now some of the drivers can take up to 50 volts, right? And that's pretty cool, but if you were to take one of these capacitors here and you were to peel it back and actually read the specs of the capacitor, that capacitor, yeah, I probably can't get in the camera, but that capacitor is rated for 50 volts, okay? So you don't wanna go close to 50 volts with that. Like I wouldn't even do 48 volts into this thing. 36 volts is safe for this board, okay? So keep that in mind. Don't actually go over 36 volts, okay? So we're gonna take a real quick look here at uh, the actual specs on these drivers. So right now I have an A4988, right? And we're gonna look that up. Okay. So here it is from Palulu, the original manufacturer. This is the one on my board, it's probably a Chinese knockoff. But A4988, right? And we go down to the specs and operating voltage maximum 35 volts, right? Minimum is eight volts. This is just the uh, the separate driver side. The logic side has a whole different voltage, which the shield takes care of, so we don't have to worry about that. But the actual motor voltage, eight to 35 volts, okay? Now, 35 volt power supplies aren't that common. I'll show you a fast way to uh, to sort of cheat that. <laughs> so this right here, this is a 36 volt power supply, right? Okay, so that means it takes 110 or 220, right? Depending on where the switch is here. And turns that into 36 volts, right? Okay, but they have this little knob right here. You can actually adjust the voltage. You can fine tune the voltage for this. And so I can actually make sure this is putting out 35 volts or less, right? Because, I don't know, I don't really want to go over the the specs of these uh, driver boards. Like, you can, and chances are you'll be fine, but, you know, you're just increasing the chance that this thing's going to break. So, I like to keep it under the specs. So, right here, at 35 volts, I wouldn't go over that, okay? i certainly go more than 8 volts, right? So, the difference between running these separate drivers here between 35, like I'm gonna run this one on 12 volts today, okay? The difference here is you can get more speed and more power by upping the voltage. So if I use a higher voltage, I can actually get a little more torque out of the motor and a little more speed out of the motor, okay? If your motor is stalling, then you might need up the voltage, you might need up the current on your driver. That'll be another video is setting the current, but Typically, they come with a usable current for laser laser usage. So on my board, I don't actually have to set that. Anyways, so yeah, that's how uh, that's how to get, uh, cheat this one. So if you're using the purple drivers, you have a little more uh, room to spare here. So if we look at that, so here's the DRV 8825s, the purple drivers I call them, and they're a little uh, a little more current here that they can put through. They can take a lot more voltage also, right, up to 45 volts. Uh, they can do 32 bit micro step or 30 one thirty second micro stepping. So they're a little quieter. Even if you run these things at one sixteenth of a micro step. They're still going to be quieter than the A4988s. They're going to sound nicer. They're going to actually have a smoother move. Okay. So let's get this thing plugged in here. So if I have one of these big old brick power supplies here, it has all these connectors, right? So if I wanted to plug one of these things in, the L is the black, right? Black cable. The N is the white cable. The ground is a green or the green stripe cable, right? And that goes to the wall. So if I were to take one of my IEC cables here 
and cut the head off, right? If I were to cut the head off and pull the sleeve away, I'd see a black, white, and a green cable, and I could plug those into here, right? And then I got voltage plus over here and voltage minus, okay? So I could do that. I guess I could flip it around for you people here. <laughs> there we go. So live is a black, neutral is a white, ground is a green, right? And then voltage minus, voltage plus, right? So this voltage minus would be zero, and the voltage plus would be about 36 volts, depending on where you set your little knob here. Okay. But today, I'll be using a brick with the barrel connector here. So I got the brick plugged in. Here's the barrel connector, right? So I'm going to take my, my uh, shield here. I've got this little pigtail that plugs in to the connector, right? But first, I'm going to wire this up. So these things come with a little bit of wire exposed here. I don't want any of that wire sticking out <laughs> once it's screwed in. Because the most important thing here is that the wires don't touch each other, right? You don't ground it out. So I'm going to open these up. I'm going to take the exposed wire here. And I'm going to slightly fold it. Fold it right at the tip. There we go. That's a decent fold. Do it one more time on the positive side. All right. So I got the tips folded, so not much is sticking out, but there's a little more for the, the screw terminal to grab. So I'm going to put the plus and minus in here and start screwing them down. All right, a little tug test, and they're in there. All right, okay. So, next video, we're going to get one of these stepper motors turning. Uh, thanks for watching.